When you're crying no more, no more. He plays through the pain Please. to build something beautiful. When you're crying no more, no 18-year-old Sam Foster is making music that tells a story, uh, his story. Uh, my mental health took a turn for the worse, and I really felt like I needed the songwriting. Sam has battled obsessive compulsive disorder for much of his life, quietly at first. Yes, I'm the one I have. The fact that I had OCD was something I wanted to tell no one. And now, at the top of his voice. And so here even though he was a straight-A student, a fear of academic failure gripped the Issaquah teen and sent him spiraling into deeply troubling loops of negative thought. Like recurring obsessive fears. When he couldn't turn down the volume on his OCD, he learned to sing it away. What am I waiting, waiting for? The result is a body of work that makes sense of his struggle. Music gives meaning to it. Sam's story, bathed in the blues, has transfixed audiences from the stage at Mopop. Angels fall dead in the cold. To the more. So is this our land or is this our hearties? That's where he and other young musicians were mentored by legendary Prince protege Sheila E. It was a really amazing experience. It was really collaborative, awesome. Prince had passed away just a few days earlier. She was able to shoulder that burden and just channel it into helping young artists. And nobody knows. Wherever Sam plays, his music is paired with message. And far beyond the nicety Sharing my emotions on stage and being vulnerable is something that's really important because it helps people uh, relate to you and it helps people ultimately relate to themselves. I'm still looking for my reason. I don't think I've found it yet, but most days I feel like I'm moving closer. Sam Foster may not know exactly where he's going, but he'll never forget where he's been. You're there. Turn it into something that's beautiful. Thank you, Jimmy. 